here. Um, uh, at the beginning of class, you chose Jeju Island mm -hmm. as your prime location. Um, you were saying in Jeju Island? Mm -hmm. um, if, if I was including island in the mm -hmm. title, I would say on Jeju Island. Oh. On Jeju Island. But I if I was to leave on right for an island, oh. if you're using island oh. in a title. But if I was saying Jeju, I would just say in Jeju. Oh. And where mm. you draw the line is a little iffy because um, mm -hmm. you wouldn't say on Hawaii, even though Hawaii's got several oh. islands. But maybe if you were talking about an individual island on mm. Hawaii, like yeah, oh, okay. yeah, mm. you would say in yeah or on that island. So it changes with islands. It's weird. Uh, you mentioned I can leave my office at your new time. I can leave my office at sharp time, mm -hmm. like five. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the phrase you were looking for was I can leave my office at five sharp. Uh, yeah, put the time first and then sharp. Uh, I can leave at five o'clock sharp or five sharp. What's me the sharp? Right on that time. Oh. Five o'clock comes, finished. Mm -hmm. I'm done. So, you can leave it five sharp. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you told someone to meet you, mm -hmm. you could say, like, be there at one sharp. Mm -hmm. It means be there exactly at one. Not one-ish, one sharp. One, -ish, one, -ish, <laughs> one sharp. <laughs> Gotta be there. Mm -hmm. Mira, when you were using the word numb, uh, talking about uh, emotions, emotions yeah. uh, just be sure not to use the P or B sound at the end. Ah. Just drop the B, just numb. numb. N-U-M sound, mm -hmm. numb. Mm -hmm. And also when you're listing the bad habits people have sometimes, uh, you were listing like alcohol, smoking, and eating too much. Um, just to make that flow smoother, you can use the word overeating ah, as like a, noun, noun, yeah, as noun. a noun, and it yeah, works academically. Mm -hmm. I think if you were speaking like yep, academically, yep. that would be better, oh, overeating. I see. I see. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sojang, you said at the first time Starbucks was a luxury brand. Uh, you could say at first Starbucks was, um, luxury brand would just be a noun. So don't say like it's a very luxury brand. You could say it's very a very luxurious brand or just it's a luxury brand. So... You could say it's a very luxurious brand to describe it, but if you're going to use the noun luxury brand, just say it's a luxury brand. And Youngwon, just at the end, you mentioned Starbucks. They must have done many researches mm -hmm. before opening the stores. Yeah. Uh, research, just use the research, not researches. Okay. As, uh, yeah, plural of research is research. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And those are the only corrections I caught tonight, mm. but thank you for coming. I have one question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, in today's session, I kept saying, I don't want to live in Korea. I want to leave Korea often. But there, is there any difference between the pronunciation between leave, L-I-V-E, and leave, mm -hmm, L-E-A-V-E? Mm -hmm. So leave would be like, I want to leave mm -hmm. Korea, and I want I don't want to live, live. Uh, so it's if. shorter. Oh, it's uh -huh. like the shorter I sound. If. Live, leave. 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 Mm -hmm. leave. Uh -huh. But I could understand you perfectly when uh -huh. you were okay. saying it. Okay.